Good evening, sports fans. We're back. This is Amy. We've got a new module that we're starting. It's called Needs and Issues. And since we're talking about needs and issues in this new module that we're beginning, we first have to cover irrational beliefs. When your thoughts create stress, they tend to be based on irrational ideas or assumptions. You're continually engaged in self-talk, the things you say to yourself, um, even if you don't realize that you're doing it. Uh, that internal dialogue that you have is the way that you interpret the world. And if the way you interpret the world is untrue or irrational, you're going to experience stress and you're going to experience some emotional disturbance. So what is rational thinking? Let's talk about that first. Well, Webster's Dictionary says that it is having or exercising the ability to reason, to be of sound mind. It is based on reason and logic. A person must have knowledge and minimal intelligence to be rational. So babies, animals, and people who are severely mentally disabled cannot be expected to act rationally or really irrationally either. To be rational would include the ability to cope with the day-to-day -day problems and difficulties. Conversely, we have irrational thinking. You know you have an irrational thought or belief if someone with sufficient knowledge or intelligence recognizes that what you're thinking or saying is false, or it is inconsistent with most things that you know to be true, or it is inconsistent to almost everyone who has similar intelligence or knowledge. And there are many, many kinds of irrational thinking, and I'm going to talk about a few right now. The first one is called catastrophic thinking. This is a thought that the situation is a disaster or terrible. We sometimes call this awfulizing. It is a great exaggeration. Kids do this a lot, saying things that are, things are, are terrible or horrible, dreadful, the worst thing in the world. All right, it's an unrealistic exaggeration like four plus four equals 200. All right, someone who makes a mountain out of a molehill, you've heard that expression before, they are said to have catastrophic thinking. It makes situations far worse than they are. Another kind of irrational thinking is called absolutistic thinking. Thinking that things should or ought to be a certain way. We hear this all the time. <laughs> People who use absolutes like must, ought to, got to, need, and insist. You've heard people when you're waiting in a really long line, that one person who says, you know what they should do? That person. They have absolutistic thinking. The attitude behind that should is an unrealistic demand. Those shoulds mean I must absolutely have things my way and I must not be inconvenienced. Also, uh, things that are irrational are rationalizations. Rationalizations are designed to avoid self-criticism and to legitimize behaviors that are clearly unacceptable. If you do this, you're denying major parts of the reality of a situation and that leaves yourself, you leave yourself vulnerable to engage in dangerous behaviors. In regard to sex offense, part of the rationalization that is used is thinking that you have an inability to control your behavior, saying things like, I can't control my thoughts or actions, or the urge is too powerful, I can't stop myself. Those are cons and denials about your own self-control. All right, I'm going to read you now the top 10 irrational beliefs. All right, fear, this is under the category, I'm going to read you the category first and then some examples. Fear of rejection. It is absolutely necessary for me to be loved and approved by everyone. This irrational belief is probably the single greatest cause of human unhappiness. And if I don't go to great lengths to pre please others, they will abandon me or reject me. All right, the next one is fear of failure. I must thoroughly, completely, and adequately achieve in all possible ways if I am to feel worthwhile. 
My worth as a person depends on how much I achieve or produce. Fairness. People and things should always turn out the way I want them to. I should always be treated fairly, and it's awful when that does not happen. Blame and punishment. When people make mistakes and do certain things that are bad or wicked or villainous, they should be severely blamed and punished for being that way. I am not responsible. Things outside of me cause my unhappiness, and I have little or no control to control my sorrow or my disturbance. Rumination. If something is or may be dangerous or fearsome, I should be terribly concerned about it and dwell on the possibility that it might occur. Avoidance. It's easier to avoid life's difficulties and responsibilities than to face them directly. Past conditions. Because something once strongly affected my life, it should indefinitely have the same effect. Perfect solutions exist. There is always a right, precise, and perfect solution to human problems, and it is catastrophic if this perfect solution is not found. And that there are such things as perfect loves and perfect relationships. Detachment. You can always achieve happiness, safety, or security by getting involved in and doing nothing or by living passively and uncommitted. All right. So some of those are pretty obvious. We know, for example, that there are no perfect loves and no perfect relationships in this world, that our worth is not based on the fact that we achieve greatness or we earn a lot of money. That is not a litmus test of our self-worth. So these are all irrational beliefs that I just read. All right. Next time, I'm going to give you some tools and ways to refute these irrational beliefs so they are not part of your constant self-talk. All right? And until next time, please subscribe to my channel. Please. Please feel free to get in touch with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or through this channel. All the links for all of these are in the About section of this channel. And thank you so much for being here. I know this is a lot of hard work and a lot of information to take in, but you can do this. And until next time, be well.